hey guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this a lot of people have been asking how i made this animation and i finally decided to release my channel for ui ux tutorials this is my first video and i'm excited to be doing this so let's get into it this video will be split into three make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to watch the rest of the tutorials I'll be starting off with Blender, which is the 3D design, and then Figma and last three product by. Okay guys, let's get started. If you don't have Blender installed, please download it online, it's totally free. So we're gonna start off by finding our model we'll be using a Sketchfab. When you come into Sketchfab, you start for a donut, which is what we'll be using. You can see there are tons of models here, but mind you, some of the models are paid. Already picked out a model, and I'll be adding it on the description below if you want to use the same as mine. So you scroll down and you click the download button. Mind you, it's only FBX file will be downloading. Already have mine downloaded, so I won't be doing that. Okay, go ahead and download yours. After the download is complete, save it in a folder of your choice. I named mine as Donut Animation, but you could call yours whatever you want. This is a zip file, so go ahead and extract yours. After that, you'll find two folders that will be needing. So let's head back into Blender and finally get started. When you come in here, you will see a cube and a light. Just click on both of them and delete them. Now we'll be importing our FBX file. Open the file from the folder you saved yours. Click on Donut, Source, and then FBX file, which is this. Click on it and import FBX. So this is our Donut. If you want to zoom in or out, you could do that by rotating your mouse wheel. And if you want to move around the view, you can hold on the middle mouse button. Okay, here is the model. To grab the model, hold down G on your keyboard. But if you notice, they're all separated and this is not what we want. To fix that, go to the panel on the right and click on them by holding shift. And you click on Ctrl P on your keyboard set pairing to object keep transform and now if we grab the model you can see that all grouped as one so now we'll be creating an empty an empty is most commonly used for parenting to add that hold shift and click a on your keyboard look for empty and click on plain axis we want to make this model a child of the empty to do so head to the panel on the right drag the model which is this you will see an indicator that says shift to parent so click on it and click shift on your keyboard and drop it on the empty there you have it our empty moves with the model now it's time to add our textures click on viewport shading on the right you will notice it has this purple color this is because the textures are missing to fix that go to shading on the tab this is an old setup basically. This represents the texture of the model. It's connected to the principal BDSF node. The texture could be any image of your choice, but in this case, we want it to be of the donut. So to do that, click on the folder and open image. Look for the folder you saved yours. Click on donut, textures, and then this image. Now you see our donut is looking more alive. <laughs> Lastly, we'll be adding our base color. Click on the red part of the model. We'll be changing the color of the donut and don't forget to copy the hex values cause we'll be creating a lot of colors for our Figma design. I'll be adding the colors in the description as well. Click on object, change it to word and set the background color to white. Here you have it, our textures is done. You can view it by clicking on viewport shading. Now you notice our model no longer shows purple. Now it's time to finally add our awesome animation. We'll be setting the end time to 60 because we don't want it to be too long. Click on the empty, click I on your keyboard and set location and rotation. We just added a keyframe at the start. To get a better view of the animation, tweak the view by clicking 3 on your number pad. And please guys, don't forget to save so you don't lose your progress. Move by 30 frames and click R on your keyboard, which is to rotate. Click X on your keyboard and move the mouse down to rotate it. Click R again and click Z and move the mouse to rotate the model to the front. 
you could always just type in my values if you get confused. After that, click I and add that keyframe. Now we have gotten the first part of the animation. Move by 60 frame and click R again. Then click Z because we want to rotate by 360. The rotation can get tricky, so watch how I'm moving the arrows around. If you don't get it, you can just type the numbers I use, which is minus 301. After that, click I on your keyboard again and add that keyframe. Now our animation is finally done. Pretty cool, huh? So now it's time to add our camera view. The easiest way to do that is by clicking Ctrl Alt Number Part 0 on your keyboard. If you feel your camera is not centered properly, you can grab it by hitting G on your keyboard and clicking Y to position it. But mine is centered, so I won't do that. Now, we want to set the resolution to fit an iPhone screen size we'll be using for the design. Go to Output Properties and you see Resolution X and Y. Change the values to the preset of your choice. I'll be using 414 by 896 which is an iPhone 11 screen size. The model is B and this is not what we want. To fix that, go to the panel on the right, click on Camera and hit G on your keyboard and press X to scale it down. Now. We're done with most of it. Hit F12 on your keyboard to view the render. Go to Compositing tab and click on Use Notes. Hit Ctrl Shift and left click on this tab to look at the viewer editor to see what we're tweaking. Click on Shift and A, Color and select Alpha Over. Drag and drop it in between the nodes. Connect the image to viewer node and then put image on the bottom so that the animation stays at the top. If you notice, the background color looks a bit gray. To fix that, go to Filming and change and check Transparent. Then go to Color Management and change Filming to Standard. Here you have it, our animation is complete. Now it's time to render our animation. Go to Output Properties and change the resolution to 200. Go to Output and click on the folder icon and save it wherever you want. I will call mine Video. After that, change file format to AVI ROM. Go to Render and click Render Animation. Our video is now rendering. Now it's done. We need to get images of our donut to use on the Figma design. To do so, click on Image and save it in a folder you can remember. I will call mine Pink Donut. When you're done, hit Save. Now we'll be needing the rest of the images. The easiest way to change the colors without changing everything we've done is to go back to shading, change world to object, remember our base color, change it to whatever color of your choice, I'll add all of the colors I used in the description. After that, go to layout and drag the timeline to the end, click render image, click image and I'll save this as purple donut, repeat the same process for the rest of the images. Okay guys, this is the end of the first part of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications to watch the rest of the tutorials. Thank you guys and see you soon.